Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, the first game in the Tenkaichi series. It's for the PlayStation 2. I never owned this game back in, in the day, you know, back in 2005. Uh, I believe it released in November 2005. And uh, back then I was like 15 years old. And I believe in December the same year I became a, a 16. So I was 15 to 16 years old when this game released. I never owned it back then. I only got my hands on this game way later. As a young adult, I believe. However, I did <coughs> own the, the second game and, and the third game in this series as a teenager. So you can say I started with the, the, the second game and then I bought the third game when it arrived. So Bandai Namco released Dragon Ball games each year. In 2002 they released Dragon Ball Z Budokai, a game that I bought. It released in November 2003, uh, three, I believe. And then in 2004, one year later, in November 2004 they released Budokai 2, another game that I bought and finished. And then for some reason I missed out on Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, released in, December tw uh, in November tw uh, 2004. And uh, <coughs> after that game, I believe that they released a Japanese-only release, Dragon Ball Z Budokai C, uh, uh, that were only released in Japan to very few people. Uh, it was pretty much Budokai 2 with some enhancements. I have previewed it on the channel already, YouTube channel. Uh, using an emulator of course <coughs> so I'm playing using the PCSX2 emulator for the computer uh, and this emulator also has an Android version so you can play PlayStation 2 games on, on the phone as well okay and uh, as far as I know I could be wrong at least the P PSP emulator is working on both uh, computer and phone Okay, and uh, in 2005 they released Budokai 3. No, it was 2004. I mean, Budokai Tenkaichi released in 2005, together with two other Dragon Ball games, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, a, an action beat em up made in America that weren't very good, and, and then there was the. the world tournament is a, there's a bunch um, of I believe uh, Super Dragon Ball Z, another fighting game. It was an arcade in Japan. <coughs> it was an arcade in Japan released on an arcade machine and then ported to the PlayStation 2. It's actually pretty good, but it does it doesn't have any CPU vs CPU or AI vs AI mode. And it also doesn't have the VS mode against the computer. You you only have the arcade mode where you fight like uh, like ten opponents in a row. And it also has the survival mode where you can fight until you are down, so to say, and and in points. And it allows you to customize some characters. You have a bunch of characters, far from as many as in this game, but you have like twelve or something. And then then you can also fight against a friend in the VS mode. But they forgot to include the. Uh, VS computer mode, probably because the arcade game didn't have that. Because in an arcade machine you, you pay to, pl to play. So you and a friend would uh, pay in, in, into the machine and then, then you play against each other. You can also pay to play against the computer and then you play you know, the arcade. Uh, but they didn't include the VS mode versus the computer. I believe Airgaze, another arcade game, had, this, had the same problem when they uh, ported it to the PlayStation 1 that, that it lacked the VS mode against a computer so the only option you had was to play the arcade or against a friend which made the game pretty boring after a while because you tire pretty fast at playing the arcade and uh, without a friend it's difficult to play the VS mode when they don't, don't have the VS computer option uh, of course as a kid it was easy to find friends but you know it's difficult as an adult uh, or older teen to, to find someone that wants to play so 
that makes those games pretty boring uh, because you only have the arcade and after a while you tire on it and then then you're stuck with the VS mode uh, and uh, lack someone you can play against in this game on, th on the other hand uh, I believe um, it has a bunch of different modes we're gonna try out the rest of the modes here <coughs> Okay, so Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi, it's the first game in the Tenkaichi series and released in November 2005. It was the last Dragon Ball game to release in 2005. The other games released in blue January or February or maybe May, April. So this was the, the final game uh, in the Dragon Ball series to be released in 2005. Uh, I believe three games were released for the PlayStation 2. Then of course there might have been other Dragon Ball games for other consoles, such as uh, they were handheld consoles Nintendo had at the time, or so. But um, as far as I know, the first PlayStation Portable Dragon Ball game came in 2006, so that's the, the year after this game. Okay, so we're gonna check out some modes. This game also has the practice mode where you can practice on your own. And there is also the option to, to follow tutorials by Piccolo, Piccolo he, he will say what you should do and then you do it until you have mastered the moves. I never like the practice uh, modes but they are good when you want to uh, teach yourself how to play the game. But uh, I'm not gonna play the practice mode. Evolution C, that's uh, the menu where you can like add all the customized capsules to the characters so you when you play the story mode you can earn capsules you can also I believe earn them in the tournament I might be wrong uh, but at least when you play the story mode you, you can get rewards when you finish uh, certain parts and uh, those uh, rewards can be capsules that you can give to the, the characters for example support capsules and uh, Ability capsules. Ability capsules are like enhancements to skills, and support capsules are like, uh, I believe, sensor beans and such that will heal you when you are low on health and such. Okay, so we will try out the world tournament mode and the ultimate battle mode. They are two modes that you can play in this game. World tournament is similar to in, in the other Budokai games, but uh, because this game is a uh, very different fighting system compared to Budokai it will still be different but it's pretty much the same thing you enter the tournament you pick a character and you fight the others and your goal is to win the tournament and I believe there are more than one uh, tournament probably uh, the cell games and some others ultimate battle mode we'll check that later and then the sea battle gate that's the story mode and uh, by the way the story mode in this game is really cool because you have like um, preset fights that follows the story <coughs> so you, you pick a saga for example the Dragon Ball saga or Saiyan saga, the Namek saga, the Buu saga etc etc and, and then when you have picked a saga then you fight certain known battles in that saga so there is no role playing mode or so instead you have a, a set number of battles that you can play <coughs> and the cool thing about those battles is that the the characters involved speak to each other before the battle and say things uh, based on lore so they will speak to each other like they would have done in the show and also when you lose or win they will have different dialogue depending on on which uh, scene is happening so for example if you win against Krillin he will say one thing and if you lose against him he will say a different thing and they have a connection to, to each other. For example, he says something about a certain character in both scenarios, but he says a different thing. So in other words, he <coughs> the, the, the story mode has some cool comments before and after every battle, uh, and, and the different uh, comments based on if you win or lose. And that, that I think, was really cool. And uh, we will play a few of those battles. I actually played three battles and won them, but I might have been lucky. I managed to throw the opponent out of the ring. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can 
win some of the fights just by throwing them out. Uh, so it's just fights, the story mode, and some comments before and after, but it's a pretty cool story mode. Um, better than the Budokai 2 one for sure. Okay, and uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the, there is a bug in this version when using the PCSX2 emulators. I'm using the first Tenkichi game as I said, and the bug is such that when you do use um, your energy, when you power up using your energy and uh, when you transform into a Saiyan or something, Super Saiyan, uh, then uh, the, the, there will be like a ghosting effect on the character. So you will see like uh, two versions of the character uh, next to each other. It looks very bad. It's, it's called a ghosting effect. You, you get like a ghost uh, face, you get like two faces of Goku instead of one. Uh, so it, it's uh, really annoying and I managed to solve that issue in Tenkichi 3 I believe, but for some reason it didn't disappear in Tenkichi 1. In Tenkichi 2 I'm not sure. We'll see. So we'll fight the battles in this game that do not involve Super Saiyans or Kaioken forms, but any, any fight where we only have the ordinary looks will look great. So, But let's start with the tournament. So this is the, I believe, the American version of the game or the European version. Okay, now it's three rounds total. Add up four rounds total. So the the narrator he, he will tell you about the modes. Alright, so we have four different tournaments, uh, novice, adept and advanced, and the difference is that uh, the first one has three rounds, the second one has uh, four rounds, and the third one has five rounds. Then the cell games have five rounds too, but I believe they are different because you cannot uh, win through, uh, I believe, throwing a, uh, an opponent out of the ring. In the cell games you need to defeat the opponent by reducing uh, the opponent's health giving a huge advantage to, to certain characters because in this game and in the other Tinkich games characters have strength levels based on the show and manga so for example Super Saiyan 5 uh, I mean Super Saiyan 4 Goku for example is much stronger than uh, Super Saiyan 1 Goku and uh, much stronger than Krill and Yamcha etc. So if you play as one of the weak characters and play in the cell games, you will have a very hard time winning against certain opponents. But if you play any of the other ones, you can throw them out of the ring. Okay, we will start with the novice. And I believe if we have 8 entries, that means we can play as 8 players. I, I don't want that. We will have one and try. Who wish to enter this way, please? Okay. This place with Gita. Maybe not that with Gita. We'll do the scouter. Vegeta. So you can have up to eight playable characters. And now the world tournament begins. This will be a three round tournament. The lineup of players for the contestants who will be appearing today are as shown. Okay, we'll face baby Vegeta. So he's a character from Dragon Ball GT. I don't know a lot about Dragon Ball GT, it was only released in anime form. I have all the 42 manga volumes of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. 
but I've never played, uh, never watched Dragon Ball GT. It's an American uh, release of the anime. It wasn't very good. The characters are in, in many of the games. The baby Vegeta is an enemy character. Uh, Vegeta, the, the Vegeta I'm playing was also an enemy in the beginning of the show and the manga. But the baby Vegeta, I believe, uh, he he absorbed Vegeta, so he, he looks a bit like Vegeta, but he is a different character. Everything I know about GT is uh, mostly from the games, by the way. So I managed to kick that guy out. That was an easy win. So you can win in two ways in tournaments, unless it's the Cell games. You can either throw the opponent out of the ring, like we did there. The easiest way of winning. Or you can deplete their health bar, which is the harder thing to do. <coughs> so what we want to do is throw them out of the ring, but I'm not sure we will succeed. In the worst case, they will succeed in throwing us out of the ring. As you can see, Super Saiyans have this ghosting effect that they failed to fix with the first game. The third game had the same problem, but there I managed to fix it. It's the first game, by the way, has way more uh, fighting on the ground than the other two games, where the fighting is mostly in the air, because they fly around a lot more and a lot faster in the second and third games. Uh, while this game works a little bit more like Budokai and they can actually fight more physically on the ground and such this is the slowest of the, of the three games in terms of how characters move you can't uh, double speed for example when you do this move that I did there <coughs> then you speed up against the enemy but you, you fly fast towards the enemy but in the other games you can click two times on the X button uh, a PS2 or PS3 or PS4 controller uh, the X button there Th then they will uh, the, the character will speed uh, a lot faster than when it does it only once so we are facing mid Okay, we are already <coughs> we are already at the final match. That wasn't very difficult. Uh, so <coughs> the, the second and third games are faster. You have more play uh, gameplay options and such gameplay modes. But this game is pretty cool in the sense it fights. They fight more on the ground here. But most characters have have this move. There are not many characters in this game with, with unique attacks. Instead, most of them do that attack. You see that attack. Uh, it's in the other games too, but in this game, uh, you cannot uh, speed it twice. You can not click it again and uh, sp uh, and uh, fly even faster. So I couldn't avoid that. I don't know how to avoid. Fuck you. The um, three managed to do that attack again. Yes, we fell on the arena. If we had f uh, fallen under ground, we would have lost. Fuck you. One thing I like with this game is that they, they are uh, actually damaged when they fight. When they get depleted, when the health get depleted, uh, the character is visibly damaged. That's also the case in the second game, but not in the third. But I believe in the third game they could get damaged looks if they are hit with the ultimate uh, 
a blast attack. But not everyone. Only the adults, I believe. In the first game, uh, in the second game, I believe it was every character. I might have removed it for the kids and such in the third game. Okay, uh, because the law in Japan changed. In, uh, in the past, in Japan, uh, I believe anime shows, uh, Japanese animation, they allowed blood and such in kid shows, but uh, then they changed the law. So nowadays, and for the last 10 years or so, uh, they do not allow blood in kid shows anymore. The original Dragon Ball cartoon started in, I believe, I believe Dragon Ball Z started in 1989, the same year that I was born in, 32 years ago. And uh, Dragon Ball, I believe, started already in 84 or something, you know. The, the, the manga, I don't know when the show started, maybe 86 or something. But anyway, uh, it's an 80s show, so the laws were different in the 80s, so there were lots of, uh, you know, blood and such. Uh, but uh, they changed the law around uh, 2010 or something. So nowadays it's illegal to have blood in, in children's shows, so they had to uh, remake certain old shows and re-release them without the blood. And uh, maybe the same is true for the games, I'm not sure, because the first and second game had more blood and damage than the visible than the third game, and I believe uh, none of the new games have blood and damage, so, okay, we could uh, try the others, try a different character. We can play as uh, Super Vegeta. Fuck, I clicked on custom. I have no attacks with him. We are terribly sorry to get this ball right now. Fuck, we have no special attacks. We'll have to exit. Uh, but we could try this fight. But I don't believe we have any skills. Through the clicked on normal, not on custom. I'll fight you. Anything to break the boredom. Are you ready? Begin! There. Vegeta, they are bugged, I forgot. Another old favorite of mine was Piccolo. We can play as Piccolo, we will use normal Piccolo. So in Dragon Ball, I used to like General Blue in the Dragon Ball series. This will be a four round tournament. The lineup and pairings for the powerful players who will be appearing today are as indicated. So in Dragon Ball, I had the, my favorite was uh, General Blue actually. And then I didn't like old Piccolo, he was ugly, but uh, young Piccolo I did like. And he was my favorite character up until the Saiyan saga when Vegeta took over. And then Vegeta remained my favorite character for the rest of the show. Okay. Play as Piccolo now in the Adept version of the tournament. Adept mode. Adept difficulty. Maybe. Facing against U here. Facing off against Boo. Sure the, really the, the non uh, energized characters look great 
use the emulator, but then when you use energy, you get that ghosting effect. I don't know how to avoid this in this game. Try to do the circle button, but it failed. Fuck, we lost already. We'll try again. Because that was uh, fuck up. It's over before it started, just like the previous one. Who wish to enter this way, please? Try Piccolo again. We are, this will be right. Face against the door, face off against the door, yeah. Okay. I sure hope you're ready. Who do you think you are? So this game, by the way, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkichi had the same music as the Budokai games. Budokai 1, 2 and 3. Plus some new ones. Fuck! Some of them managed to touch the ground. I think we will skip this. I can say I dislike when, uh, when you can lose by falling out of the ground. Uh, we can instead try the cell games. <coughs> so there is another version to the advanced mode with 5 rounds, but we'll go to the cell games instead. We will play as Piccolo there. Hey, hopefully we can't lose by touching the ground this time. Okay, so we'll fight against Broly, he is a stronger character, we cannot defeat him by throwing um, him out of the r uh, ring this time, so he is the advantage. I believe all the enemies are on easy difficulty, because I didn't want them to be on higher. I haven't played this game before uh, in a very long time, I tried it out I believe uh, 10 years ago or something. It's been like a decade at least. And the buttons are difficult, more difficult than in the second game and the third game. I believe uh, they would be better in those games. They are similar but uh, slightly different. different. Uh, one example is the X button. When you speed forward you need to actually hold it. Or it to activate or it stops. Or it stops like that. In the second and third game I believe you just click the button and it would speed forward. And they fight way more on the ground in this game. Feels more like a mix between Budokai and Tenkaichi, uh, whereas the other two games are uh, more unique. They are similar, but you will have less fighting on the ground. So he managed to win because he had a way better character. I believe Broly is one of the best characters in the game, <coughs> and Piccolo is not. We'll try another fight in the Cell games. Play 18 here. As we can see by the way, we do not have um, special uh, looks here. We do not have alternate skins. We only have one look for each character. I might be wrong, but couldn't find any button that said change skin. So I don't know how to use other skins. Fuck, we, we are facing like the best character in the game. We are gonna lose this. Enough talk. Let's 
He's also has that ghost effect. This is still a fun game and uh, not that different from the other games in the series. I also think that Android 18 looked way better in this game compared to the Budokai 1, 2 and 3 games. And all the models look similar but they are different here. They are upgraded. And compared to in the other Tenkichi game, she has a different pose here, so I believe her animations will change in the other games. And her attacks. <coughs> she has no real, uh, I believe, uh, ultimate attack in this game. Only those uh, super moves. No ultimate move, I believe. So it's difficult to win in the Cell games when they have uh, like the best characters taking part. Okay, let's check out Ultimate Battle. Ultimate Battle. Ranking mode. Battles where we fight for points probably. Okay, let's try Android 18 again. Normal difficulty. Super Warrior 100 ranking. <coughs> Fight against 100 Super Warriors for ranking mode. Warrior training practice mode. If you lose to your opponent, you don't lose any points. Okay, so we will try Super Warrior 100 ranking. <coughs> Android 18, so she has uh, the maximum number of points probably. You'll probably lose some points here. Fight against Hercule. So she did fight him in the tournament, in, in the manga and in the anime too. This is a bonus mode of this game. Where you fight to earn points, you fight until you lose, probably. <coughs> I believe the, the models speak more in this game than in the later games. I thought the model looked better here than in, in the later games, t even. But had way uh, less moves and attack. Has more um, uh, things that she says, and so she probably could be wrong. But her attack is pretty bad, it usually miss, misses the, the, that attack, I mean, usually miss the, the opponent. It was, uh, <coughs> it was replaced in, in the later games. Most of her attacks will be replaced and her animation pose. And that's the case for many of the other characters too. That they got new moves and uh, new animations in, in the other games. This one is pretty worthless, it misses all the time. Usually attacks in this game and in other games uh, based on the Dragon Ball franchise won't miss. But uh, Android 18 is uh, one of her attacks, almost always misses. This one doesn't also. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I grabbed him there. Okay. Good, we managed to avoid him. I used to be pretty good in the third and second game. I finished the third game on my YouTube channel. My old YouTube channel. I had backups of all the episodes, that's why they are very old. I pro probably played uh, those episodes uh, back in 27 or 28 uh, or 29, I don't remember. They were re-uploaded in 2010 after the channel got wrecked. Maybe they were from 2009, could be 2007 or 2008 too. I finished the entire uh, story and recorded everything. The sound is still good, um, great quality, but I didn't speak, so it's a walkthrough. <coughs> so let's play they are when you speak and walkthroughs are when you don't speak. And um, I believe that in, in those days I did never spoke. Um, but um, the, the sound from the game is of great quality, however the, the visual quality is worse. <coughs> because uh, <coughs> because in those times I believe I used the Pinnacle Studio 14 tool or older maybe Pinnacle Studio 10 <coughs> and recorded straight from the PlayStation 2 so I had the PlayStation 2 resolution of uh, I believe 420p or something and that's why the, the quality of the, the actual game uh, looks very outdated compared to the quality now when I have a 1080p resolution let's go to the sea battle gate Okay, by the way, we'll check the dueling mode first. So I already uploaded five videos where I had a uh, com versus com fight each other. So we can fight against the com, we can fight against another player, uh, we can uh, watch the computer fight itself, and we can do the passwords. In the password section, you can you can look on Google for passwords in this game. Then you can unlock characters with the maximum level and maximum equipment that will be available in the other modes <coughs> so there are like passwords for every character in the game and uh, you can find them on google you search for like uh, Dragon Ball Z and Budokai Tenkaichi passwords and they will probably uh, immediately result that search will result in a <coughs> huge list of passwords so it's like a lot of uh, different buttons and, and uh, numbers that you need to uh, press and then, then you will unlock the character in question with maximum level and maximum gear of course you can unlock the characters when playing the store mode to uh, when they will be unlocked without any uh, stats so they are like level 1 that's the normal way of unlocking things but if you want a uber character <coughs> without playing the game and without you know using pre-made saves or without having to level them up and such then then the way to do that was to just uh, write the password and you got all the the, the, the character the, the character in question leveled up but you could only do one at a time and it's a pretty long password <coughs> but it's possible to unlock I believe uh, 10 or so uh, uber characters uh, okay, so in this mode we have the characters. So I already previewed every character in the game when I uploaded the first video where I had the computer fighting computer. But we can check the, the characters. So we have like <coughs> Son Goku as an adult, and we have the Super Saiyan Goku form, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, and Super Saiyan 4 every upgrade <coughs> has that ghosting uh, glitch unfortunately when using the emulator but the non-upgraded version looks great except when he is uh, in Kaioken mode or when he is uh, charging his energy because the energy has the same issue 
Okay, and the other thing in this game compared to other uh, games, I believe in the Budokai series you couldn't... You, you could upgrade into Super Saiyan and other transformations during a battle, during a fight. But uh, you, you could also be de-evolved if you got hit uh, and lost your balance, then you would de-evolve back into your prior form. In this game, on the other hand, you cannot be de-evolved. You cannot evolve in battle either, so if you pick Goku here, then you cannot turn into a Super Saiyan in the battle. You need to pick the Super Saiyan version to play as the Super Saiyan. And the Super Saiyan cannot turn into Super Saiyan 2, so if you want to play as Super Saiyan 2, you need to pick Super Saiyan 2. Okay, so you get the point. In, in, in Tenkaichi 1, you need to start uh, evolved, and then you will remain evolved for the entire battle. If you start the evolved, you will never be able to evolve during a battle. Unlike in the second game and the third game in the Tenkaichi series where you can actually evolve in battle and they also added the option to deactivate that for those that want to relieve the story. For example, if you want to fight uh, a battle between uh, for, uh, Kaioken Goku versus Scatter Vegeta then it would have been a prob uh, problem if uh, Goku turned into a Super Saiyan and you don't want him to be a Super Saiyan so it's possible to deactivate ev evolutions during battles but uh, in this game you can't evolve and you can't de-evolve in the, in the Tenkichi tag team game for the Playstation Portable or PSP I believe they did a mistake, they forgot to add the option to, to deactivate evolutions so in that game uh, you can never uh, prevent the character from evolving into Super Saiyan when you have gotten the Super Saiyan scale which is uh, a shame Th because that means that when you play for example Goku vs Scout or Vegeta he might turn into Super Saiyan Goku so it won't be lower accurate Okay, but that game had uh, also worse graphics because it's on a weaker system, the PlayStation Portable. But it's the best game in the series because it has tag team. You can play 1 vs 3, 2 vs 2, and 1 vs 1. Well, in all the other games, in KG 1, 2, and 3, you cannot play 2 vs 2 or 3 vs 1. You can only play as 1 vs 1. It has a tag team uh, mode, but uh, you take turns entering the fight, so when one character enters, the other one leaves. Well, in, tag in Tenkichi tag team, you have both of them fight at the, at the same time. It's like a team battle, and that's not the case in, in the PlayStation 2 titles. But the PlayStation 2 titles have a stronger system, the PlayStation 2. So the graphics are slightly better here, compared to the PlayStation Portable. Of the PlayStation Portable emulator enhances the graphics, I believe, 10 times the graphics of the PSP. That's still not as good as uh, the emulator for the computer because here I, I am using the same graphics card as my computer. So the graphics are really good. Of course, if I do not record or record the, the video, I could play with uh, 6 times the resolution of the PlayStation 2 without lag or at least five times. I believe the the sound lagged a bit with six times, but five times was fine. But if I record, uh, everything gets slowed down, unless I use three times the resolution. So I'm using three times the resolution of the PS2, Well, I'm using, uh, I believe, ten times the resolution of the PSP, with the PPSSPP emulator for the PSP that I use for the computer. I have it for the mobile phone too, the Android version, but prefer playing on the computer. Okay, so the other characters, we have Vegeta, uh, Vegeta after the, the Namek story, and he can turn into Super Saiyan Vegeta, the same Vegeta that fought Android 18 and Android 19. And we have Super Vegeta that lost against uh, Imperfect Cell, I believe. No, he won against Imperfect Cell and then let him uh, evolve into Perfect Cell and then lost against Perfect Cell. And we have Majin Vegeta that killed people in the fourth to world tournament and then fought Goku, defeated Goku and then got uh, defeated by Majin Buu. I believe he blew himself up to kill Majin Buu and it seemed like he had succeeded and then he 
died. Okay, and we have uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Okay, Super Saiyan 4 is a GT character. All the others are from Dragon Ball Z. Piccolo, we have only one version here, which is a frame. I prefer the version with the cape, and it doesn't seem like we have the cape version here. So he fights without his cape. Okay, we have Krillin, but we only have his ordinary look. We do not have uh, the old Krillin where he has hair, the one from GT, and we do not have uh, Namek Krillin either, as far as I know. The one with uh, the Namekian armor and such. We have Yamcha, but we have no costume this time, like in the Budokai 3 and 2 games. We only have one look, short hair, no long hair. We have Tien or Ten Shin Han. He, he has his ordinary look, we do not have his alternate skin. We have Shao Tzu, he is playable for the first time. I believe he was in the mod for Dragon Ball Z Budokai, the AF mod, but he has not been in an official game. Uh, for the PlayStation 2 before this game, so he is fully playable now. And we have Kid Gohan. He likes the Namekian look and the look he has in the Saiyan Saga. <coughs> but he has, I mean, the look he had in the Saiyan Saga against Raditz, uh, Goku's brother. But he has the look uh, that he had when he fought against uh, Nappa, I believe, later in the Saiyan Saga. Okay, we have Song uh, Teen Gohan. He has his normal look, we do not have the other looks from after, I believe, uh, Cell has arrived. But he has Super Saiyan look and uh, Super Saiyan 2. He, do he doesn't have the Saiyan armor version. Okay, and then we have Adult Gohan, Super Saiyan Adult Gohan. We have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Ultimate Gohan. Then we have Great Saiyaman, we do not have the version with the turban, we only have the helmet version. We have um, Trunks with, so with a sword and Super Saiyan Trunks. So that's the Trunks version from the future that uh, killed Free Cyborg Frieza in the beginning of the Android Saga. Then we have a slightly more stronger version of that Trunks, Trunks uh, fighting. Uh, his trunks after they have trained, after he has trained with Vegeta in the hyperbolic chamber. We have his Super Saiyan form, and then we have his Super Super Trunks Super Saiyan form too. A very beefed up person. Okay, we have Kid Trunks from the Buu Saga, and Super Saiyan Trunks. Okay, and then we have Kid Goten, or Goten, Son, Go Son Goten. And we have Super Saiyan Goten. We have Gotenks, the fusion between Trunks and, and uh, Goten, and we have his Super Saiyan form and Super Saiyan 3 form. Then we have Vegito, the fusion between Vegeta and, uh, and uh, I believe Goku, uh, when they use the Butara earrings to fusion. We have his Super Saiyan form too. Then we have Super Gogeta, uh, we do not have his ordinary form, only his Super Saiyan form. Gogeta has Goku first and Vegeta later in the name. Well, Vegeta has Vegeta first and Goku later. Uh, Goku later. So the difference is that this fusion is stronger and it's from, I believe, Dragon Ball GT, while this one is from Dragon Ball Z. And uh, here they used the Patara earrings, uh, like they threw each other. Uh, one earring each, and then they fused into Vegito. Well, in this fusion, I believe they fused in a different manner. And this is the better fusion, but it's not from the manga, it's from the anime only. Okay, then we have Super Gogeta, uh, Super Saiyan 4. So Gogeta is the Super Saiyan 4, also GT. We have Raditz, Goku's evil brother. We only have one look for him. We have Nappa, Vegeta's companion in the Saiyan Saga. Only one look. And we have Vegeta as a scouter, the one I played previously. And uh, he can actually turn into an ape, great ape in this game for the first time. So in some of the older games, Budokai 1 and such, he did turn into an ape in, in the story mode. But you never really fought against him when he was an ape. 
uh, in this game you can fight uh, as Vegeta when he is in his ape form. In the second game and the third game I believe other Saiyans like Raditz and uh, Nappa can also turn into apes. Uh, despite not being able to do that in the show, only Vegeta did that in the show. And Kid Goku I believe and Kid Gohan. Uh, so it would be correct according to the manga and the anime to let Kid Gohan, Kid Goku and uh, Vegeta turn into great apes, but uh, Red Snapper never did that, but they have tails, so it shouldn't be impossible. And in the later games, Tenkichi 2 and 3, they can do that too, and some others. We have the Cyberman, creature that Nappa created, uh, to fight the sea fighters, because they were seen as too weak for him to fight them at first. They, they took care of the Cyberman and then Nappa beat pretty much all of them until Goku came and uh, defeated Nappa. Okay, we have uh, Sarben. He was playable in the first Budokai game, but was not in the second and third games. He is once again playable here. He can transform into his post transformation state. <coughs> we have the Doria. He was also playable in the first uh, Budokai game, but not in the second and the third. He is once again playable here. We have Captain Ginyu, he was playable in all the games, he only has one look here. Uh, Rikum, he was playable in, I believe, all of them too. And he has one look here, so his damage form is not here. Okay, then we have, but he has, uh, you can damage him, so he looks like damaged, but he still has this costume. He doesn't have the, the model where he doesn't have the armor, so to say. Okay, we have uh, Berter. I believe he is new for this game, he wasn't in the other games. We have Jace, he is also new for this game. I believe they were in the cinematics of the first Budokai game. They were playable, same with the Cyberman. Uh, here they are playable. Guldo is also playable. So these three are new characters for this game, never seen before. We have Frieza, he was in the other games too. New for this game. Yeah, I believe in the third Budokai game he had all his forms, and that's true in this game too. He has his first form, his second form, his third form, his final form, his final form full power. And he also has his mecha form. In the previous games, the Budokai games, they play quite a bit differently from this game. Uh, he could, they could, uh, uh, Frieza could transform into Mecha Frieza from the second game, I believe. And, uh, by giving the character Frieza a capsule named as Frieza Spaceship, so whenever he uh, ran out of health, uh, I believe he automatically restored one bar and uh, turned into Mecha Frieza. So it was like a final uh, attempt to win the battle for Frieza. Here instead, it's a evolved form that you can start with. Okay, we have Android 16. He was playable in all three games, three older games. He's playable here too. We have Android 17, playable here and playable in all the other games. Same with Android 18. Android 18 has uh, a way better model here, in my opinion. It looks better here than in the other games. In the first Budokai games, they used like really outdated 3D models. And then in the second and, and the third games, they, they used the same models. Uh, but uh, that model uh, was way better than the first game's model, but still looked uh, bad compared to this one. Uh, so she lacks ultimate moves as do many other characters. Many of the characters spam the same ultimate attack, combo attack, the one you have seen with the blue background and they do a lot of uh, combos. Okay, so <coughs> they do not have a lot of uh, unique moves in this game. Some of the characters do have unique ultimate moves and such, but the, the less important characters do not have that. So Android 18 doesn't have that many attacks, uh, unique attacks. Android 19, <coughs> I believe he was in, in all the games, could be wrong. Android 20, he was in the at least Budokai 2 and 3. They are here too. We have Cell, his first form. And second form, perfect form, and perfect cell. And I believe he was in the other games, but in one of the games I believe you only had the first form and 
in, in some of the others you could evolve, I believe. Or, or started as the, I believe in the second Budokai game, you started with perfect cell and couldn't uh, use the older evolutions. You could upgrade into, I believe, ultimate perfect cell. You could not, uh, could not use the first form and the second form. Okay, we have Cell Junior. He was actually an enemy in the Budokai 1 game, uh, but uh, was not actually an enemy you could play as uh, in the game. I believe in the second game and the third game he might have been playable, like the Cyberman. But in the first game he was in the game, but wasn't really playable. Uh, Demon King Dabra, <coughs> yeah, he was at least in the second and third games. I believe the first Budokai game only added up to the Cell Saga. But while the second game added the Boo Saga and the third game added the Boo Saga and the, the GT Saga. But added more stuff from the Boo Saga and uh, added some content from the GT Saga too. But the GT Saga only had very few characters, not a lot. They also added in the Collector's Edition some Dragon Ball characters there, like Kid Goku and Piccolo. Old Piccolo. Okay, Majin Boo. He has been since the second Budokai game. He's playable here too. We have Majin Buu Pure Evil, he is playable for the first time in this game. It's a unique new version of Buu, he was very temporarily in, in the manga and anime. Uh, I believe he, uh, he uh, emerged out of Majin Buu and fought Majin Buu and managed to absorb Majin Buu and then became Super Buu. So he was in the Dragon Ball Z manga and anime but only for a page or so he defeated Majin Buu and became Super Buu. Okay, and then we have Super Boo, of course, <coughs> the evil, uh, much more powerful Boo version, more powerful than these two. Here they are split in two, a good version and a pure evil. Well, this one is not 100% good. He still killed people, but he's like childish. He is more good than evil. Well, this one is uh, pure evil, and uh, this one is... I mean, this is like innocent evil, not good really, he killed a lot of, of uh, humans and such, uh, but evil, but uh, in a naive kid way, this is just pure evil, and this is an evil version uh, that is much more powerful. We have uh, upgraded form, Gotenks absorbed, and ultimate go and absorbed, and then we have the final version of Boo, Kid Boo, the strongest version. Once again, like pure evil, but now with the strength of Super Boo even stronger actually. Yeah. But uh, unlike the other, unlike Majin Boo and uh, Super Boo, he cannot speak, and only grounds. I believe pure evil is similar. I could be wrong, he might be able to speak. Okay, we have Hercule, Mr. Satan in the European and Japanese versions. So this is the American version of the game. Where they censor the name of Mr. Satan to Hercule. He's a joke character, he's the father of Widow. He's also playable. We have Bardock, the father of Son Goku and Raditz. He was not a big part of the story, he was only in a flashback, I believe, in a movie. He, he was, uh, he died before Goku was born, killed by Frieza. But he looks pretty much like uh, a more uh, more mature version of Goku, an older, more veteran version. Okay, then we have Cooler, Frieza's brother. He might have been playable in Budokai 3 Collector's Edition, I don't remember exactly. I know that Brawl is playable there. Unlike in Budokai, I think, in Budokai 3 Collector's Edition, you do not have alternate skins for the characters. Some of these characters had alternate skins there. We have Bulljak, he is new for this game. He has only his post-transformation form. It's like a uh, transformation state. <coughs> and uh, he's playable for the first time in this game. He might have been in one of the games for other consoles, but in the PlayStation 2 games, he was first introduced in, in Tenkaichi 1. Then we have Janemba. I don't remember if he was in Budokai 3 or not. Baby Vegeta, another one that might have been there 
or not, I don't know, and Super 17. All of these characters are for, uh, either from movies or from Dragon Ball GT. They are not from the manga. Then we have Great Ape, which could be seen as Goku as an ape. And we have Kid Goku. We have Kamasu Nin, or Master Roshi. So Kid Goku was in the collector's edition of uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. The Great Ape here is also new for this game. Master Roshi here, or Kamasu Nin, teacher of Goku, and the other sea fighters he He's also a pervert. He is playable for the first time in this game. He cannot transform in this game. Uh, we have General Tao as well, or Tao Pai Pai. And he's the teacher of uh, Shao Tzu and uh, Tai En, or Tenshin Han. And he's evil, unlike Kamsa Nin, who is good but is a pervert. He, he likes uh, stealing hands from young girls and such, and watching porn. Uh, but General Tao, he's uh, more like an evil guy. Uh, he's an assassin, actually. He's a mercenary for hire. He 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 is hired by evil people to take people out. And uh, Shao Tzu and Taiyan, they are good. They they left him and uh, took the side of Goku and the others. So he views them as enemies and traitors. Okay, so we have uh, some new characters from Dragon Ball and uh, some new characters from Dragon Ball GT here and some new characters from the Dragon Ball Z movies and we have a lot of the older characters from Dragon Ball Z uh, but we lack the alternate skins and we lack the ability to evolve during battle and we lack the ability to de-evolve which is good uh, so we cannot be forced back into an earlier form if we start the battle as Super Saiyan Goku for example he cannot be turned back also, this game only had one, uh, one mode, uh, single player vs mode. So if I start a battle here, we, we will not do that. Then we have the option here to pick a stage in Dragon Ball Z Budokai and Budokai uh, 2 and 3. I believe each stage had a different song, so you could only hear that song on that particular stage. In this game, on the other hand, they have added random music for each stage, so if I play a battle in, on this stage, I will have one music play, uh, one song playing. And then if I play another battle here, uh, a completely different song will play. So, so any song can play anywhere, uh, unlike in the Burka games where they were uh, fixed for each uh, stage. So it's an imp improvement. And the songs are the same as in the third game, plus some new songs, I believe. Okay, and the third game used the same songs as in the second and first games, plus some new. So this is just the same songs as in the third Budokai game, but with some additional songs, and they can all play randomly on the stages. You cannot pick what song should play in the in the Tenkichi 2 and 3 games, and in Tenkichi Tag Team for the PlayStation Portable, you can actually pick the songs for each stage. But that option arrived in the second game, not in this game. Also, in this game, you cannot play tag team mode, where you take turns. For example, you pick two characters for, the, for your side and for the enemy side. And then, then you play with Goku, and then you can click on a button, so he leaves, and then, then the other character will come in instead and fight. And then you can click on the same button to make him leave, and then another character comes in. That mode arrived in the second game, it's not in this game. And then, I believe there was a DP mode. <coughs> damage point, points mode where, where you pick up to five characters anything between one to five characters can be picked for each side and then you fight battles and you are limited to a certain point system uh, so you cannot pick characters that are that have a point uh, number about a certain uh, level for example if you take Super Saiyan 4 Goku Saiyan for Goku, he, he would take maybe maximum points all by himself, and then if you pick, for example, Krillin, Yamcha, Tenshin Han, Shatsu, and Kid Gohan, then you have five characters, but together they might be similar in points to, to this character alone. So one team might have like one super strong character, and another team might have 
five weaker characters. Okay, but that mode didn't ar arrive in this game either. So this game is lacking in. This game is lacking in many of the modes. Let's go to the store mode now. The sea battle gate. We're here. Mr. Popo is happy. Which sea battle gate will you challenge? Right, we will see. So we have all the Sagas completed here. Go back to the start. So the first saga is the True World Tournament, Dragon Ball Saga. Starting in the tournament. I played three missions there, they were really cool. Then we have the Saiyan Saga, that is the first saga in most of Dragon Ball games. Here we had an earlier one. Then we have the Frieza Saga of course. We have, the, uh, a, a <coughs> have an additional saga after the Freezer saga, the Lonesome Final Battle, Bardock's saga from the movie. Then we have the Universe's Mightiest Warrior, Freezer's Brother Cooler, another movie. And we have and the Android saga, we have the Future Super Warrior, Trunks saga. <coughs> then we have the Legendary Super Saiyan Brawler. We have the Threat of the Galactic Warriors with Bojack. We have Majin Buu's, the Majin Buu Saga. Then we have the Evil Monster Yanemba from Dragon Ball GT. The Revenge of Baby, another GT Saga. The Ultimate Android, another one. Revenge of the Saiyans, a bonus chapter. Cosmic Emperor with Frieza, another bonus chapter. And the True Ultimate Android with Cell. Another complete uni completely unique uh, bonus chapter, and the destructive magin super boom, and the final one, the plan to conquer Earth. It uh, I believe Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta I believe. We're back in the beginning. We'll pick the beginning. Kid Goku. <coughs> the game here and click next and or exit vs enemy achievement so let's see next we'll check this first and I've looked an incredible battle that transcends both space and time moving across the world and next moving across this world Ah, so the, the language uh, the, is started to speak very late. Okay, so we get uh, like a, an intro here. Okay, now let's pick the first fight. So everything is cleared because I am using a save game. But I have cleared the uh, first three fights, I believe, or four, a few days ago. And I tried it out, I thought it was pretty cool. Let's start with this fight. We'll play as Tenshin Han or Taiyan against his friend Chao Tzu in the World Tournament. Store objective, defeat the opponent by, by ring out. We need to pull him out of the ring. See if we can do that or not. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's hard. Or difficult. <coughs> As you see, they have their like um, intros and extros in this story mode where they speak to each other in a lower friendly way. Yes, we won the battle, it was very easy. Pull him out of the ring.
graphics are pretty good and the ghosting bug doesn't happen or ghosting glitch okay favorite techniques plus five received okay next we'll take kid goku versus krillin now but kid krillin isn't a part of the game instead he will face adult krillin or teen krillin i believe it's the teen okay battle map world tournament state defeat opponent by ring out finito do the same with Krillin using Kid Goku. Need to pull him out of the ring to me. All right, Krillin, let's fight. What the Goku? You're a you're a kid again. And if you go easy on me because of that, then you're gonna be the one that walks away hurt. Whatever you say, Goku. Let's get it on. Anytime you're ready. Ready. Go. Come here. Ah, easy. I like that they comment like this and if he wins he says something else about 18 so uh, it's like very thought out what they will say if, if you win or lose and before the battle it's like a small story intro okay then we have the fight between Taiyan and Topai Pai I believe I fought that battle too I don't remember if I won it Battle map, world tournament stage. Feed your opponent with all your might. Yeah, we, we shouldn't pull him out of the ring this time. We need to actually deplete his health. Tien the traitor. It's been a long time, Master Chow. I assume you have come here ready to die. No, you won't be able to beat me. Imbecile, I'll kill you before you can think. All right, his former master, Tao Pai Pai. out of the ring. Alright, so we won that battle. I believe I won it previously too. Now that I think about it, I remember this comment at the end there. Okay, um, now it's Krillin versus Kamasanin. I believe I fought that one too. Battle map world tournament stage. Feet opponent by ring out. We need to pull uh, Kamasanin out of the ring. Or Master Roshi. <coughs> it's little Krillin. Wow, it's been a long time since you bought this old bag of bones. <laughs> I ever bought you, Master Roshi. No, I mean, uh, back when I was training you, you know, when you and Goku were little kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought you were just getting a bit senile. Man. Now enough with the schmaltzy stuff. I'm ready to show you everything I've got, Billin. Me too. She 
yeah, the story mode is kind of, uh, should I say, uh, not very. Um, it, it doesn't have all that uh, role playing stuff that you're used to with the other games, but <coughs> it has some interesting comments before and after the fights, and uh, it has the most important battles from the story of the manga and the shows and the movies. So we lost that fight, we'll try again. We managed to pull us out of the ring there. So we'll try again. Skip the intro. Ready, go. Fuck, you did that. Good. Fuck, you did it, come on. Ha! throw people out of the ring in this game. In the second and third games it's more difficult because the characters are more often in the air. Uh, well in this game they usually end up on the other side of the ring after a few hits. It's easier to win in the tournament here, at least when you throw them out. Let's uh, fight this battle between Goku and Kamsen in now. Same stage, defeat the opponent by ring out. Okay, we'll do that. They like the intros and extras. I prefer this over having pictures where they speak, like in the second game, but they had an entire RPG there. So they, they used to have very cheap um, dialogues in the RPG where they used pictures. Fuck, he was... Uh, oh, that was... Uh, So I was playing as Kams Nin there, supposed to win against Goku. Thought it was the opposite. Okay, we will try again. So his name is Kams Nin, but he's also named Master Roshi in the show. So that's his most common name. Let's just skip this. So we've already seen it. Fuck, I managed to somehow ring out. What was it him? You sure are strong, old timer. <laughs> of course I am. I don't have the name Master Roshi for nothing. Ah. Oh yeah, baby, I still got it. I'm making my comeback. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, so we won the battle. Somehow Goku also managed to touch the 
arena outside before we did. So even the AI is likely to lose in tournaments by ring out due to their own actions in this game. It was too easy to ring out and, and to, for the AI to ring out as well. Let's fight Tau Pai Pai now or fight S Tau Pai Pai against Gogo. I like to spam Kamamahas and ultimate moves. But if we can get them out of the ring, they usually lose. Die. Good. One hit with a special beam like that outside of the ring, and it's over for them. Alright, so we won with Tao Pai Pai. Of course, he won't kill him in the game. They made the game kid friendly to some extent, uh, which is a shame. The manga isn't kid friendly in that sense. They kill people in the manga, but it's still a manga for kids, of course. Uh, I was, how old was I when I read the original? I, I was uh, 12 years old. So, uh, yeah, it's for like people around the age of 10, 12, 11, and maybe up until 15, 16. This game is for people uh, all the way from, I believe, 10 to maybe 17 or 18. Uh, but, of course, if you liked it as, as I, uh, or one of the games in this genre when you were like 15 or 12 or so, then, then you can play as an adult too, as for nostalgia, of course. Um, and this game is very similar to the other games. It has the same music as the Budokai 1, 2 and 3 games. And has uh, similar models, uh, but not the same, but similar to the, to the Budokai games as well. Similar stages and such. Pretty much the same stages, just remade for this game, same with the models, remade to fit this new game play style of this game. This game has a completely different gameplay style as you've seen compared to the other. I, I actually felt kind of good in the tournament battles. It's either because they suck uh, and get ring out, uh, ring outed uh, so easily or or it's because this game is easier than the other. I believe in, in, in the second game and the third game there are a lot more moves you can do more gameplay features, so it might be more simple here. Let's fight the battle against Pickle, it's the final battle in the the True World Tournament saga. And we'll watch this uh, cinematic. And then we'll end it, we won't play another battle, we might play one of the Saiyan saga battles against Raditz. We'll see, let's fight this one, at least as Piccolo. He has been reincarnated, so Kid Goku fought against old Piccolo, or King Piccolo. And then he wished himself uh, to become younger, using the Dragon Balls. You, you, they gather seven Dragon Balls, then they can 
summon a, a dragon named Shenlong and ask for any wish to be granted and he wished for his youth so we are fighting young people over here he is stronger than his old form but he is not as evil he was still seen as evil became more good towards the end of the show. Alright. The difficult part in this game is to avoid his Kamenha or other attack. Most of the characters have this attack. In the second game, a lot of characters get uh, unique attacks. But in the third game, pretty much all of them have. In the second game, not all of them had unique. There are certain differences between the second game and the third. Uh, we'll have to fight this again. He had luck in the beginning. As you can see, there are damage when we have low health. I really like that feature of this game and the third game and the second game you no know, feels more realistic but true to the manga and anime actually i was you sure about that oh well let's fight again sometime piccolo of course uh, of course, Namekians, uh, the race uh, Piccolo is uh, from, uh, they have blue blood. If it had been a human, it would have been red. Okay. Skip the intro, start the battle. Fuck, he was lucky. Skip the extra too. Try again. It's the final battle here. Things didn't go too well with Piccolo for some reason. Yes, I hope it was him. Yes, we did it. You're a lot stronger than before. I can't stand up to you now. Of course not. Still, I don't sense any evil. You're a good guy now, huh? I can tell. <laughs> this guy is all. Right, that's the battle. And it's just a cinematic here. Fighting is over. However, as long as there are those who have I'm 
not really a fan of how the cinematics were made here, the videos. The comments are way too slow. Then we got the credits of the first saga here. There are like credits for each saga, I didn't know that. In, in the third game you need to like beat the entire story. Only the what if scenarios happen after you have beaten the main story. And seeing the credits, I believe the credits ran after you defeated the Dragon Ball uh, villains. Uh, so you defeated like the, the Saiyan Saga villains and then the Namekian Saga and then the Android Saga and then the Buu Saga and then the GT Saga and after that the Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, very fought characters like General Blue and uh, Android 8 and such and then after that you got the credits and after that you could do a lot of what if scenarios where you played as the villains. You could win as Freeze and others. Okay. But in this game you have a credit credits rolling for each story. I don't know if it's the same video playing for each. Okay, so this is a good ending. If we are gonna play the rest of the story in this game, we will start with the Saiyan Saga. But uh, due to the glitch with the Saiyans and with the energized characters, where they have that ghosting effect, I'm not sure I want to play. Uh, I might do the, the, the missions where they do not have uh, any uh, transformations or energized forms, but uh, yeah. That's not the majority of the missions, I believe. So we might play some more later, but not the entire game. Uh, however, I do feel like replaying the entire story of Dragon Ball Z Budokai I think it's too. It has like an RPG story that I really liked when I was uh, a teenager. And I would like to replay it, something I wanted to do half a year ago, where I, when I started uh, to play it a little bit and played I believe I defeated Raditz and such, but yeah, I didn't record. Uh, I planned on doing that later, but I wanted to go through the other games first. We are almost there. I believe with this video we are done previewing Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi for the PlayStation 2. And there are two other Dragon Ball games for the PlayStation 2 that we might take a look at. Dragon Ball Z Sagas, which is a action beat em up made by American developers and released in America. I don't know if it was released outside of America. It was a flop. And then we have Super Dragon Ball Z. I've done two videos on it previously. In, in January 2019, I believe, I did one video with the Pinnacle Studio 14 tool. Uh, I believe that the video is in uh, very good quality, but it has uh, very small like square because for some reason I had a problem getting it to record in full screen in, in full screen mode so it's a very small screen and also I believe that there were no comments because it didn't work with the pinnacle tool I tried to comment I believe and then in uh, ever since the summer of 2018 I've been speaking in videos most of the time Okay, and then, uh, but prior to 2018, I didn't do that. Prior to the summer of 2018. Okay, and uh, <coughs> then uh, I also did a video half a year ago, I believe in September or October, where I played as Android 18 and played through the Orchid mode uh, on normal difficulty and medium difficulty, uh, and uh, I believe uh, easy difficulty and, and normal difficulty. I don't know if it's normal or medium. I, I won against Cell with Android 18 on easy and normal or easy and medium and, and then I tried the, the hard difficulty and uh, failed against Cell each time I, I don't know, I, I think I reached Cell but, but I uh, couldn't defeat Cell Okay, I didn't speak, I did speak during the recording but for some reason my voice wasn't recorded so the video doesn't have my voice might replay the arcade with Android 18 there and play with some, some others and comment for the first time in that game so both of those games are also from, from the same year as this game 
uh, I believe one of them January or February 25 and the other one April or, April or May or June or July and then this came in November 2005 so this is the most recent one and the most impressive one and also the most popular one but I do think that um, certain models look better in, in, in the other game Super Dragon Ball Z well they look really bad in in Dragon Ball Z sagas okay let's uh, not say we could actually save I did earn some stuff there okay but this will be the final video uh, on Tenkaichi unless I continue the story a bit more later. There's lots of fun things to do here. Which game mode would you like to play? This is an awesome mode where you can relive Shenron's memories of all our greatest and most difficult battles. Open the Z battle gates and save the world all over again. All right. So uh, could have used just uh, did this. So, yeah, 2005. Dragon Ball Z Burka Tenkaichi. Thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, I might do some videos on Super Dragon Ball Z, maybe even Dragon Ball Z Sagas. We'll see. But at least Super Dragon Ball Z, I think. The problem with that game is that it it, it didn't have any CPU with CPU mode and uh, VS CPU. So it's the arcade again. Just read my comments. Here we have some demos playing when we just let the, the, the game be. I believe some of the stages in this game look really good when zoomed in. In the second and third games you fight more in the air where they fly around very fast. In the, in the third game the characters move much faster than in this game. They move uh, like in slow motion in this game in comparison. But in this game, they have more buildings and such on the stages, so you can destroy more buildings. You can still destroy buildings and trees and such in the third and second games, but there are fewer of them on the present on the maps. So, so the stages like that uh, city there, they, they look more, uh, what should I say, they look more detailed here, uh, or th there are more structures you can destroy. And also, by the way, I believe that uh, they fight more often on the ground and that's pretty cool when they fight on the ground it, it, it gives you a unique view that doesn't happen in the second and third game you see the game from from the air in the second and third games well in this game you see it often from the ground okay but thank you for watching. If I return to this game, we will play some more story mode bits because I liked how they did the story mode with, with comments for each battle, uh, for each important battle of the show and manga. But uh, and it's fast to play through. They have a lot of battles, but uh, not a lot of cinematics or story bits. So it's it's not an RPG and it's not a cinematic. And as such, you you fight some battles and. Uh, watch some, some dialogue before and after and that's fast to, to play through unlike in the second game where it takes a long long time to finish because it's an entire RPG uh, where in the third game you play <coughs> battles again but have more uh, longer like uh, intros and extras and also they speak during the battles in that game so it's more interactive which is really cool Okay, and the third game is by far the best game in terms of gameplay and modes and everything. Uh, one thing that I think the second game did better was that it had a longer story mode. It was more like an RPG and that it had uh, damaged characters just like in this game. Uh, so the, the bad thing with the third game is that uh, you, you rarely see any damaged uh, characters. Because it's no longer based on when they... In, in the second and first games, when they get low health or he he health points, uh, they get damaged. But in, in the third game, it's only when they are hit with ultimate moves, so it's very rarely happening. Okay, thank you for watching.